a busy afternoon at Grindhouse Killer Burgers in Atlanta. On the menu, what else? Burgers. In the United States, the burger has been both celebrated as an American favorite, but also denigrated as unhealthy. Yet the beef burger remains king. Americans eat nearly 60 pounds of beef per year, which stacks up to a couple hundred hamburgers. The rise of a new generation of meat is predicted to change not only the beef industry itself, but also the entire global food production system. When Beyond Meat went public earlier in May of 2019, it marked another major turning point in the food and health culture in the United States. This followed more than a decade of research and development into burgers made from plants, and not only by Beyond Meat. The goal was a product that could have the protein, nutrients, taste, and mouthfeel of animal meat. We have to solve this protein issue uh, if we're gonna have a sustainable planet, if we're gonna have a healthy population. The growing beef with beef, especially factory farming, is partly because research shows it's severely damaging to the environment. According to the UN, beef alone is responsible for 41% of livestock greenhouse gas emissions, such as methane and nitrous oxide. Those livestock emissions make up 14.5% of total global emissions. A beautiful morning at White Oak Pastures, an organic farm in Bluffton, Georgia. Will Harris's family has farmed this land for more than 150 years. He makes a clear distinction between how he runs his operation and the kind of mass meat production that's been found to damage the environment. I'm one of the few good old boys that used to farm industrially and came to regenerative humane production practices. But we say it's not the cow, it's the how. I agree that uh, industrial beef production puts uh, enormous amounts of uh, greenhouse gases up. It does degrade the uh, organic matter, microbial life, water aggregation in the soil. We slaughter 35 head of cattle in a day. A big industrial plant will slaughter 400 head per hour. It's different industries. Meat is the flesh of an animal. I, I, think, it's, I think it's really interesting that in 2019, we're having to decide what is meat. 